on my fucking god. First thing in the morning, when I wake up, thank God for life. Look in the mirror. Hold up. Welcome back. I know I've been gone for a very, very long time. Well, welcome me back <laughs> to the street. How y'all doing? I've been gone for a while. Um, and today's video is basically just whew, doing an overview of what's been going on in my life and what I've been going through and what I'm trying to accomplish and just everything. And Bear with me, I've actually tried doing this video like two other times. Um, I always end up freaking bawling my damn eyes out and stopping in the middle of it. It's just a very emotional roller coaster that I've been through. And I'm just gonna try and get through a lot of what's been going on in less than 20 minutes because I don't want it to be super long because I know nobody gonna watch it if it's that damn fucking long. I wouldn't even fucking watch it for that damn long to be honest with you. So I'm gonna try and make it this try and make this as short as possible and just try to fit all the important stuff in um and what my plan is for this channel. So um no I'm not done with the channel if that's the lingering question that's going on in my supporters or people that are already following me um mines i stopped like last year i think my last video is when i did like this, that ps5 prank on my friends and i stopped from then things just kind of went downhill for me and well it was already a little bit of a downer when i was still making videos when i was in college but things was getting lower and lower so i had to take a a long break um and just figure stuff out there's a lot of times where i was like okay i'm ready to go again and it just never happened so hopefully by the end of this video um after i get everything out um on camera and share you with you guys what's been going on i take that and i run with it and i just keep filming that's the plan that's the goal and um yeah i'm a little bit more motivated now uh, still going through a lot, but I'm still trying to get past it and just keep doing what I really like to do and um, Thrive in what I really like to do, which is YouTube. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start from like the top um, Basically just start from where I left off on the channel um, when I Did my last video after that um, School started back around that time And I think school started back around that time no, that's when we were going on break, I believe. I don't remember, but it started to get a little bit hectic in my life. Um, with tuition and everything, I had to figure that out because um, I do not get financial aid. And for the past two, for the past um, about years in my college life, I've been paying out of pocket of money that I've saved up and um yeah that's what i've been doing and i'm not gonna lie i am proud of myself because not a lot of people can you know pay their way through college and even if they can i don't think they would want to just use all the money that they have to do that and so i'm really proud that i was able to, to just save up as much as i can and pay for my first two years and um i couldn't pay anymore when i had like last year so it was kind of rough for me i had to scramble around and try to figure out what to do with that situation and it was just it was getting very hectic um emotionally like mentally 
I really wasn't there anymore. Like I just felt, I started to feel a lot more drained. I started to not have energy to go out as much or try to even attempt to go out as much, make friends, like do YouTube, something that I enjoy doing that I wanted to do my free time to just loosen myself up a little bit and all those things that I like to do was just like getting very draining and so that happened um though the bright side of all that in that midst I did get a new puppy her name is Rhodey <laughs> fucking I said Rhodey you might as well be a fucking Rhodey a fucking freak what you say you do what so her name is Rosie. She's a troublemaker. Say hi, Rosie. She just fucking shit on my damn carpets. Um, but yeah, I got Rosie. I'll insert some clips of when I got her. I got her with my roommate. I got her on Black Friday, child. They was having a sale. And you know how people go on Black Friday, they shop for clothes. I said no, I'm shopping for a fucking dog. And I got me a doll. So I got Rosie on Black Friday. Um, I still spend a lot of fucking money on a dog though, to be honest with you. Could have used that. But I don't regret it. Sometimes. But yeah, got Rosie and things started to feel less lonely. Um, of course I can't freaking talk to a dog, but it was Less lonely because I just had her. She was just so cuddly and so playful. So I enjoyed, you know, getting a dog um, through the midst of everything that was crashing down in my life. That was the uh, one good thing that was kind of shining through, a bit, through it all. So I was really excited and I was really happy. So yeah, that happened. Um, but yeah, everything else was just starting to get very hectic. Um, fast forward, it's just, Oh God, we're getting to the emotional part where I kind of stopped the video. Pull it together, Shanice, what is wrong with you? It's just a fucking video. Um, I share a lot of like, sometimes paragraphs and stuff on like Snapchat of stuff that's been going on, but that's just the least of it. And um, Honestly, I feel I one thing I don't like doing is putting myself into a victim state. I feel like I should just always be able to bounce back and just not let things bother me. But one thing I really despise about myself. Damn, these bitches need lotion. One thing I really despise about myself is um that I let things get to me very easily. And just having that mentality, it was just so draining. I drained, I felt like I was draining myself. Like it, I was just the anchor. Myself was just, just the anchor and I was pulling myself down because I let things get to me so easily. And it, it just, it built up a lot of emotion and a lot of stress under myself. And so all that was happening and, um, a lot of stuff personal situations with family and um it was just all coming at once and i i feel like i couldn't take it and it happened for months on end it was something that was just coming and coming and coming and coming and i know a lot of people experience that it's life it's adulthood like you're gonna go through at least something you know very much something like you're gonna go through something um so you know it's life it, it it happens and so i tried my best not to like victimize the whole situation but it was really hard sometimes you just have to cry and i try to explain that to myself sometimes when i'm by myself i'm like it's okay let it out cry you can't always be strong and that that's also my problem i always think i have to be strong i always think i have to just overcome things like that and that 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 type of mentality it's good and it's bad it's good because you know that motivates you to keep going but it's bad because you think that you're a robot you 
like we're all humans it happens sometimes it's good to let things out talk things over sometimes the best therapy is saying your mistakes or saying stuff that happened out loud because if you're just keeping it in you're not talking about This is my life right now. Take three in this bitch. So yeah, if um, you can't really think that you're a robot, you know, that is not gonna cry, that is not gonna break. It's gonna happen. These damn wrinkles. It's gonna happen. It's life. Um, so yeah, all of that was happening in my life. Um, I was having random anxiety attacks that i didn't tell anyone about so um for watching this video now you know um i didn't really know what they were i was like just freaking out a lot of the times and i did go to the hospital and at the urgent care and i asked them about about it letting them know what's been going on and then they explained to me like you know these are anxiety attacks you're having you're really stressed um this is gonna be like a personal information if you don't want to hear it that's totally fine skip the feed like do the little skippy de skip thing but girl problem wise i haven't like had my blood thing for a while and no i'm not pregnant so knowing that i'm not pregnant and knowing that i'm i have like a regular cycle I did not stretch it, stress it as much, but it became a very long time. And I went to the hospital for that too. And they're like, you're very overstressed. You're, you're pushing yourself too hard. Something's happening because this is not normal. You haven't had it for a while and know you're not pregnant. So it is very much you being overstressed and all your anxiety levels rising. And it, it just, it was a lot. It was a lot to handle. It was a lot to take in because on top of my mental health was just all these other problems and it was just clashing and it wasn't really good for me. And so, um, um, oh my God, I'm crying to a fucking camera right now. Are you serious? And so, um, It took a toll and I there's a lot of times I just wanted I just wanted to give up I was job hopping like I didn't like this job because of this and I didn't like this job because of that and I started to feel lazy like I didn't want to do stuff like and that wasn't me it wasn't in my character and, and I was hating the person <laughs> Don't end the video. Don't end the video. God, done this fucking video like three times. I'm like, come on. All right, I'm trying my best to do this video in one take, so I'm not editing a lot because I really want to upload it. So, but yeah, so it's not the person I'm used to, and I started disliking myself a lot. I started, you know, wanting. A person to fill a void instead of just focusing on me and that's another thing that pissed me off about myself is that mentally I just thought that you know needing someone in your life just to talk to all the time and just be there you know it's great but you put so much confidence in that person that they are your happiness. Your happiness revolves around them and that's not good and that's what I was doing. And I never took the time out just to be by myself. I hate being by myself. I feel like it's just, when I'm by myself, I start thinking about everything that I'm going through and it starts to get very heavy on me again and again and again. So I tried my best not to be by myself. I lost a lot of friends and some of them, it's God's will, you know, I don't regret. And some, it's like, dang, I wish it didn't have to end like this because, you know, I cherish the times, but it is what it is. Um, 
I didn't want to talk about this one, but I had someone in my life for a short amount of time that even though it was a short amount of time, we discovered what love really is together. And that person, I can definitely say in that short amount of time I knew them, they brought out the best in me. They were teaching me how to love myself and it was amazing. They definitely left me with a knowledge to know what I'm supposed to be treated like in a relationship when I have one in the future. Um, we didn't break up because of anything like serious, like troubles in our relationship or anything that. I won't spread this person's business out even though you don't, you guys don't know who he is. But um, he was going through a lot and stuff that for one person, even my problems was like petty problems to what he was going through. And so he was still like keeping me in the loop. And when I saw that, I'm like, there's so many guys out here that, you know, the slightest problem. Oh, I'm going through a lot right now. I can't talk right now. You know, stuff like that. And they're not keeping their partner in the loop. A lot of people cope in different ways. Understandable. Don't mind the bleach stain, y'all. I just call it style. Um, a lot of people cope in different ways. So that is very understandable. Um, if a one person would say, you know, I, I want to handle this by myself. Um, and the other person would say, no, nah, I'm going to tell you what it is because we're partners. You know, um, if you want to understand either way, that's totally fine. But I like the way we're... If we're together and you're going through something, talk to me. Just like how if I'm going through something, I want to know I can talk to you. And that's what he taught me. And that's what I got out of that relationship. And I'm going to definitely say it right now. In that short amount of time, that was the best relationship I've ever had. Um, but yeah, so there was some good in it. We had to part ways because of everything he was going through. It was getting heavier and heavier. And so... You know, it was very understandable for me. Um, I wasn't really upset about it. Uh, but yeah, so that happened. Um, right now, to catch up to date, I'm just trying to go by. Like, another thing that had a toll on me was my weight. And that's, this is also something I wasn't really planning on talking about because I've been very insecure about my weight it's very up and down um sometimes it'll just be very low sometimes it'll be very high you know some people stress and lose weight a bit stress eat like who the fuck who the fuck like why can't i stress and lose weight not that i want to stress but at least have something good come out of the shit you know what i'm saying like a girl stress and, and gain very much gain I've always had net facts even since I was a child, but these are my insecurities right here. A lot of times when I'm taking pictures, I'm doing be like I'll always like stretch here and I'll try to like stick it out like everyone has insecurities. A lot of people have insecurities, so it's very understandable. Um you either live with it or you get it fixed if you want to. Like I'm planning on getting it fixed. Is there neck like surgeries out there? Like I'm planning, I want it fixed. It's something I was wanting to do, so don't try to talk me out of it because it ain't gonna work. Um, but yeah, my weight has been definitely something that's been very insecure of mine too. There's a lot of times where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get on myself. I'm gonna exercise every day. And then there's, I just give up. That's always been my problem and I hated that part as well because I never had the motivation because of everything that's been going on for the past year. Like I would try to motivate myself. I would try to say, I'm going to do daily affirmations. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to do this. Like one day I'm just so eager and I'm ready to just be better. And then the next day, all these thoughts just come right back. And it was just like that constantly. And that oppressed me. That just made me really down. Because I'm just like, when am I going to want to be consistent with it and actually let it happen? Like, all that just weighed down on me. And I, it was just, it was very upsetting. It is still very upsetting because it's unfortunately something I still suffer with. Um, or I have a problem with. 
Um, so it's something I'm still learning to try and get used to, just be consistent again. Cause I used to be very consistent. I used to jog every day, um, take a couple laps and, and just do like small workouts and you know, do meditation. I did it for a couple months. I was pescatarian for like a year. So there is times where I can be very consistent and that's why I know it can be done. I'm not gonna completely give up on myself and anyone else who's suffering from this, I know I don't have that many followers, but whoever is watching this, if these are stuff you suffer from, don't give up on yourself. I'm being so serious right now. Don't give up on yourself. Keep pushing because it's so easy to give up because it's the easiest way out of all the stress that you're going through is just giving up. That's the easy part. You have to keep going. It's hard, but there's a lot of people out here that are stars and they work their way up. They Y'all, subscribe. Subscribe and like and and share. See, so a girl can get money to actually buy a better background because I don't know what the fuck this is. Anyone got some <laughs> All right, so basically to wrap everything up, that's kind of everything that I've been going through lately. Um, still battling with a lot of it, um, getting better at a lot of it, and just slowly trying to work things out like I was saying earlier just don't give up on yourself keep pushing you know um, one thing my mom taught me to do and my family taught me to do I'm not gonna say just my mom uh, my mom my dad my stepmom is just to be strong and just keep going don't doubt myself and that's what I'm trying my hardest to do so yeah that's kind of an update of my life and what I've been going through um, for future updates, I'm planning on hopefully recording a lot more consistently, probably like two videos a week or something that I can handle until I'm used to doing it like every day. Like that's what I want to get back to because I was growing um, when I was being consistent so I know it can happen. So I'm definitely trying to get back to doing that because YouTube is something I really want to pursue. So I don't really want to give up on that. I have been doing a lot of TikTok so I'll put some of the videos in at the end so you guys can see some of those if the people that follow me on here haven't seen them or follow me on TikTok. Um, and yeah, another thing that I've been doing to coping a little bit better, I started painting and these are some of the paintings that I did. Um, this is my first painting I did. I'm actually really, really proud of it because I never paint boo boo. So I was really, really proud of this. And what oh, my second one? My second one I did was this one. This was probably my best painting to me because of the blending and everything. Um, it, it was just very like mind easing to do this one and just blend it and everything. It was really fun. And um, this was my third painting. I call it been my blood, bitch. And then I had recently did this one. It's basically just like lightning and stuff. I wish I did it a little bit better, but I like how I did like the lines and the tape and everything on this one. Just putting more time into myself and being by myself, I think that really helps um, doing the painting because it makes time goes by and it makes you just have fun with it and being by yourself. And so that's what I've been doing to like strategize trying to be by myself more and be happy with myself so it's really really fun i i do suggest doing it as like a little therapy session thing it, it calms the mind just makes you feel at ease um it doesn't work for everybody maybe but it definitely really works for me and i'm really happy with doing it um so yeah that's what i've been doing it's really fun and i've been trying to write a little bit of music here and there because I really want to go back into doing music as well. Just stuff that I used to do that I want to regain my energy to do again. So hopefully one day you guys get to hear my music. So yeah, those are some of the stuff I've been doing to like just progress and just get better with everything that's been going on. Um, it's been working so far. I still have like a lot of times where I like do step backwards and I still go back to a downfall, but I'm still trying not to give up on myself and I'm still trying thriving to keep going, especially with college. I'm almost there, almost there. But yeah, so 
those are some of the stuff I've been doing and thank you guys so much for watching if you did watch and please like share so I can get money to fix this shit please 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 like share and subscribe um, and if you're new welcome to my channel I have been gone a while you're welcome to go back and watch some of my old videos but I did get like new studio lights and everything I love the lighting now please stay safe guys I know there's a lot going on in the world right now and despite all my problems like I mentioned earlier if these are things that you guys are experiencing as well or whoever is watching this is experiencing stuff like this as well don't give up on yourself please thanks for watching bye bye